Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. Today, we have the Firecracker tech. She's a three elixir common card that has 252 hit points. This is the exact same health as the archers, meaning she dies to arrows. She has a slow three second hit speed, just like the princess, but with a shorter range of six tiles. She shoots a firework that explodes on impact and splashes anything directly behind it like a shotgun effect. Each pellet is 53 damage. When she launches her firework, she recoils back two tiles. This is her unique ability because she can kite units towards the center, causing both princess towers to help defend. Cutting slow moving units to the middle is incredibly simple. Fast moving units are too fast for her because of her super slow three second hit speed. Keep in mind, she does have the chance to switch lanes from recoiling. It's all about the angles where her target is. Remember, she just goes backwards from her intended target. Imagine a straight line from her target to the firecracker. She can completely stop the P.E.K.K.A. if properly timed. She'll kite her towards the middle long enough for both towers to take her out. She can even kite Giant Skeleton all the way towards your King Tower. Just be prepared for your arrows or some sort of spell. Otherwise, you'll have very little time to react to a really close Giant Skeleton. She can also kite the Mega Knight to the King Tower as well. In a frame-perfect world, she can kite the Mega Knight towards the King Tower and survive. This is nearly impossible to pull off and is not reasonable to pull off in everyday games. But getting the Mega Knight to the King Tower alone is really easy. Because of her heavy splash, activating your King Tower is super easy. You can kite with any unit or even building. You have a few options on planting these tiles, which all activate the King Tower. A simple 4-3 plant that pulls building seekers will also activate the King Tower versus the Firecracker. The Firecracker has trouble hitting fast moving units just like the princess before her buff. Units like goblins can escape, especially because of the awkward angle. In order to completely stop units from connecting to your tower, you'll have to place her directly in front of your tower to hit them all. This goes for archers, goblin gang, minion horde, and other swarmies. The bigger the angle, the more difficult it is for her to splash other units or even connect to her target. She's excellent at taking out the Lava Hound and her pups along with splashing anything else behind it. Lava Clone has been indirectly nerfed due to her coming into existence. The Firecracker is the Inferno Dragon's worst nightmare because the recoil pushes her out of range every shot. The Bowler is another victim of the Firecracker. She constantly recoils back, dodging the incoming boulders. She can snipe a princess out, so if you see one coming, you can splash her to splash onto the princess tower for a bit of chip damage. The firecracker destroys the rascals completely. One shot will take care of the girls and she'll keep recoiling back away from the boys until he dies. Similar to other long rangers, placing her in the middle to defend dual lane attacks is value town. Because of her three second hit speed, defending graveyard is pretty random. If she hits this right skeleton, she might be good, but it seems to get a lot of damage normally. So we definitely do not recommend defending graveyard on her own. It's too volatile. It's too unpredictable on wherever the skeletons spawn. Any spell will stop her from connecting to your princess tower coming in alone. So chances are if she's hurt before crossing the bridge, the Princess Tower should take her out. Using spells on her is quite tricky though. It's kind of the opposite in terms of casting the spell in front of your target. You have to know if she's walking forward or if she's about to shoot and knocking herself backwards. Arrows completely stops her and is one of the best spells to stop her with its wide range and equal elixir trade. If you have to counter her using swarmies, angle the units like skarmies to the very side so she clips onto as little units as possible. This way, you'll still have a pretty scary skarmie to deal with. Best units to activate King Towers are fast moving units like the Ice Spirit, planting it right when she's about to lock onto your Princess Tower. This is because the Ice Spirit is so fast it actually dodges her firework projectile while the Princess takes her out. The Ice Spirit takes no damage, avoids the Firecracker, and can be used to counterattack. That's the biggest! Positive elixir trade. Although you can activate the King Tower with any unit, the Battle Healer is another great card to use because she'll heal after she absorbs that first hit. Probably the best spawner against the Firecracker is the Furnace. Just because she has trouble hitting those fast traveling units, she just simply can't hit those really fast fire spirits and she eventually dies. Because the King activation is so easy. Decks like Graveyard, Miner, Bait, and Hog decks are all a little affected. 
The Firecracker fits very well in Siege decks because they don't care about King Activation. It doesn't affect how the Siege takes out one tower, as they don't need to cross the bridge and are mainly looking for that one crown victory. This also applies to the Royal Giant deck because the King Tower doesn't really help in defending the Princess Tower from the Royal Giant. Because angled shots result in less damage to units behind her target. Tornado synergizes very, very well and will help line everything in place so everything gets splashed for that maximum damage for every single pellet to hit. Overall, she plays very similar to the old princess who had trouble with fast moving units and angles. Her range isn't great, but she does have that kiting recoil ability, which is definitely really unique. If she does come into the meta, I expect to see more spells like arrows and fireball and furnace. She synergizes well in decks like Royal Giant and Siege, and possibly even in bait and beatdown. It's important to master the power of geometry for the angles to kite and splash units. She's just simply an overall great addition to the Clash Royale universe. What decks have you been working on for her? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, I was gonna buy these magical chests, but transaction is pending. What? Uh oh. Supercell helped me. Uh, well, if you do buy any of these deals, you can use code OJ. Anyways, we're gonna try out this Expo deck in a really quick ladder match. And Supercell, if you're watching, please help me. I, I, need, I need to get this fixed. I, I need to take my money, please. We're going to start off with an Expo right about there in the little sweet money spot. And let's see if it connects. Oh, yes, sir. It already connected. It's over. It's too late. That's 1,500. Uh, I'm cool. I'm cool with that connecting on that side. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got to... Log the right side there. So far, so good. The firecracker works really well with the expo. We got it. We got it. Even if she activates the, the king tower, it's going to be so good. That was a lucky connection in the beginning, but now we play for realsies. Oh my goodness. All right. He's going for the elixir collector. We go for the Valkyrie then. Oh my goodness. Connection again. That is money right there. Take out all them skelly skellies. Holy moly. We gotta we gotta fireball that. That's a lot going on. Positive. Alex trades all day. Every day. We got the firecracker. I haven't even used her. Oh my goodness. Alright. I don't know if I even want to use her right now. Bring that all in. Wait, doesn't the firecracker splat? Oh, yes. I just hit both of them. Woo -hoo -hoo! Hit both the elixir collectors. This deck is so good. Yeah, there's no miner, so I'm just going to tornado that. We're, we're good. We chill. Got him. Activated my king tower, so I'm, I'm good with that. Let's um, bring that up a little bit. I don't really need to do much right now. Maybe I'll put my Ice Wizard on the left side. Oh my goodness. That's not supposed to connect like that. Okay. That was not supposed to connect like that. We're still going in. King Tower is activated. It does not matter. Oh shoot, I, I just gave the the firecracker value. Yes, connection. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, they can have the left tower if they need, if they can get the time to do that. Take it out, ah, nah, mm, yeah. Yeah, so I'm feeling really good about this, but uh, my chess, I still gotta get a little fixing going on. Oof, that's not good. I don't like that. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from the tech videos. If you didn't, you are a madman. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ.
That's, That's the, the biggest, biggest positive elixir trade.